night. The dawn will come. The night is long and the path is dark. Look to the sky for one day soon. The dawn will come. The shepherd walks and his home is Keep to the stars, the dawn will come. The night is long, and the path is dark. Look to the sky, for one day soon. The dawn It's all one world, Harold. All that changes is our place in it. A word. The humans have not raised one of our people so high for ages beyond counting. The faith is hard won, Letheline, worthy of pride, save one detail. The threat Corypheus wields, the orb he carried, it is ours. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. We must find out how he survived, and we must prepare for their reaction when they learn the orb is of our people. All right. What is it, and how do you know about it? Such things were foci, said to channel power from our gods. Some were dedicated to specific members of our pantheon. All that remains are references in ruins, and faint visions of memory in the Fade, echoes of a dead empire. But however Corypheus came to it, the orb is elven, and with it, he threatens the heart of human faith. Even if we defeat Corypheus, eventually they'll find a way to blame elves. I suspect you are correct. It is unfortunate, but we must be above suspicion to be seen as valued allies. Faith in you is shaping this moment, but needs room to grow. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed it, changed you. Scout to the north, be their guide. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow, 